Sophia here from My Great Challenge. Uh, welcome back to my channel and part two of my driveway repair and seal. Today is the day I am sealing the driveway. So uh, fair warning, I've never done it before. I have kind of an idea of what I'm supposed to do. I have the concept, let's just put it this way. I don't know if I have the technique, so uh, no matter what, it's going to dry. Okay, we know that. It's going to be a beautiful day today. Uh, 76 degree, almost 80. Tonight it's going to be mid 50s. That particular sealer, you can do it uh, in temperatures below 50, so it's perfect. It's a little bit windy, um, and I have a lot of things to do before I actually start the sealing. Because I let it cure for an entire week, which is fine. So all of the uh, um, pieces that I've tempered last week are totally dry because uh, it was quite hot actually this week. We were in the 70s. Um, so that's done. It's cured. Beautiful. But it's fall, so there's a lot of leaves again on the uh, driveway. So I have to sweep everything and, you know, use the leaf blower. And then I'll get started. I have to do the edges first. Uh, Scott is probably going to help with that because it's a lot. And I think I'm going to do it with a broom. There's several ways to do this. You can do it with a brush, uh, you know, like on a stick. Not a roller, a brush. Um, I couldn't find the brush. The brush gives a little bit of a texture, it gives a rough surface. Um, or you can use the squeegee. And that's what I have. I actually bought two squeegees and I have 25 gallons worth of sealer. So you don't need two coats, just do one. Um, we'll see what happens. Anyway. Before I get started, I want to show you my medal, because I told you in the last video I was going to show you my medal. Here it is. This is the English Channel uh, Virtual Challenge. I want to show you the medal because a lot of people think that they are uh, kind of like token trinket type thing. It's not. This is heavy duty stuff. Isn't it cool? Enamel. Um, the English Channel, of course, it's got the flag of England and the flag of France on it, and in the back, it's got an octopus. So, I'm already on the Inca Trail, and I'm, I think, almost at 10 miles on the Inca Trail. 20%, um, something like that. No, it can't be 10 miles. I've got to be at 7 miles, because it's 26% a month, and it's a 26 mile uh, challenge, walking challenge, and then after that I'll do Adrian's Wall. That's the cross section of England. That's 91 miles, so it's going to take a while. But anyway, I got my first medal. I should wear it everywhere I go, right? Because this is a big accomplishment for me. Um, fitness has never been my thing. You guys know me. I kind of like do things around the house, but I don't think you've ever heard of me working out. <laughs> anyway. Okay, I'm gonna go outside. First things first, um, Beth just contacted me. She's, she dug up two more um, daily lilies that she put to the side for me and I gotta go pick them up and bring them over here. I'm not gonna plant them today. I'll do that tomorrow um, because I don't want to drag dirt on the new sealed um, top. And then I'll get started. So we pretty much removed all the leaves, branches, um, little rocks, whatever else was there. Scott is finishing all the way up to the front and you see I put the uh, big buckets at intervals because when one is empty then I can grab the next one. I don't have to come back to this area and walk um, where <laughs> I just sealed. So let me get my buckets and the brush and I'm going to start the edges. So, to do the job, I got 25 gallons, uh, five of these. I may have too much, that's all right, I'll keep it for the next time around. This is called um, Latex Light Driveway Filler and Sealer. It's not just a sealer, it's a filler as well, so it's a little bit thicker, 
uh, hence the reason why you need um, the squeegee. And it's going to basically fill in all of the little uh, ripples and whatnot that's on the driveway. This one says that it's good for eight years. I've read online that you're supposed to do this every three years, so I don't know. Uh, beautifies and protects, fiber reinforced and rubberized, premium easy stir. So what I did is when we uh, actually ordered those online because uh, lazy me didn't want to have to lock them around, we put them upside down and they were upside down for five days. So all of the heavy duty stuff went to the top and we just flipped them over. But I still want to stir them anyway. I got this thing here that is an attachment that you can put on your drill and you're supposed to stir them for five minutes so let's open it and stir lunch yeah right okay let's stir it so doesn't matter if it's in reverse or uh, uh, don't start it from the top all right otherwise you're gonna splash the stuff all over Put it at the bottom. So I'm going to start with uh, the edges here of the garage, and I'm just going to do the edges. And I'm doing this here because with the uh, squeegee, it's going to be a little bit more uh, difficult. So not hesitate, put quite a lot. And I'm going to do a crisscross pattern. So I'm going to make sure the stuff really gets in. I figure out a way. I'm loading up the brush and I'm just letting this go like this. I'm not brushing anything. I'm just letting the product pretty much pull in the little gap. All right? Because there's some areas where I have a big gap and the dirt goes in there. I'll take a while to dry, but that's fine. Okay. And once I have that done, I go get my broom. That's an old and busted broom. I dip it in there and I apply it. like this on the edges so that way with the squeegee I can go all the way up to here I don't have to worry about the edges that's gonna take a while because it's a long driveway Scott is doing uh, the side over there and then and then we'll do um, everything else. So it's going to take a while to do all the edges, probably two hours. Um, once that's done, we'll do the squeegee for the middle part. But right now I want to make sure I get all the edges because the water tends to stay in those little ridges. I want to make sure that 
you know, the state clean. It's just the uh, aesthetic and, well, dual purpose. It's aesthetic and it's also protecting the overall driveway. It's not as hard as I thought it would be. It's just a very long process. So I'll be right back. Let us do the edges. And then when we come back, we'll do the squeegee part. So I'm back and Scott is finishing this side. My side is done. Did the whole edges with the brush and um, the broom. I put some already on the areas that have the patch. I have a new bucket. I have a squeegee and I'm going to start doing the squeegee thing which is the part that I'm not sure how to do. So let me mix this first and then uh, I guess we're going to try it out. I'm trying this squeegee thing and uh, I don't like it. <laughs> you can only pull it one way, you can push it the other way. It kind of like skips when you push it the other way. So you can't really, you can only spread it one way, which is your way or sideways. And, and then you can't go to the other side because you already placed product. So it's a pain, <laughs> but I'm gonna finish it. So, um, we have a problem. <laughs> all of this is done and it goes all the way up to here and then this is what happened. Five, five gallon wasn't enough and no store has <laughs> left over sealer. And I'm kind of a mess right now. So, yeah. There's no more sealers at the store. Uh, so I had to order them online and they're gonna come in on Monday. So during the week, depending on the weather, I'm gonna finish it. Uh, it's four o'clock in the afternoon. I have to be honest, this was, it's not difficult to do. <laughs> it's not, I mean, really, it's you just spread the stuff. But it is extremely tiring and very time consuming. Um, been working for about seven hours now and this is all we got done um, so I got four more buckets uh, so that's uh, 20 more gallon that should do it because the rest of the driveway is narrow so I'm gonna be able to layer you know faster um, so what am I gonna do now because this video is gonna be like 10 minutes <laughs> it does look good I have to be honest it does it it does look good. Um, I have to be honest, I, I, I do like it. It looks really clean. And I think the leaf blower is going to be much easier now because the majority of the grooves and stuff is uh, are covered. Uh, the areas that I've patched are still a little raised. I don't care, really. Um, the idea was to protect the driveway for the winter and fill in the cracks. So wherever I patched before with the cracks, you can't see it at all, which is really, really cool. Uh, so it worked. Oh, geese. Mm. It's time to finish the driveway. The geese are flying. Um, so what am I going to do now? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to have a cup of tea. I'm going to take a shower and really scrub myself, in particular nails, even though I um, 
wore gloves. You saw that for once. I wore gloves. Uh, and I'm going to quilt. So the next time you see me, I will be downstairs. The top is finished. I'm going to start the actual quilting. Um, so the rest of this video is going to be quilting. If you don't want to see it, I say bye now. Thank you for watching. If you want to see it, stick around. <sighs> Welcome back to my happy place. Uh, yes, I'm quilting. So I did a quick refresh and I actually uh, did my nails. Um, this is, in case you're wondering, I don't like it. Not It's not that I don't like the color. I don't like the uh, texture. This is a Sally Hansen Quick Dry in Wine. It's very goopy, um, very difficult to apply. It dries so fast, <laughs> it dries so fast. Anyway, um, I'm going to quilt. The quilt top is done, I need to sandwich it. Number one thing I need to do is find out, uh, figure out what fabric I'm gonna do in the back of it because I'm gonna do a lot of stitch um, in the ditch which is in black, so the background uh, fabric, well, the underside, the back, um, needs to be very dark, otherwise it's really gonna show. But anyway, the top is done. So here's the top. And I did do uh, the quarter turns. If you guys follow my channel, you know what I'm talking about. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do that, but yeah, here's the top. And again, I'm making this for my friend Mary who was uh, an administrative assistant and she moved on to greener pasture. <laughs> and, uh, I miss her. I'm actually doing all of her tasks right now. Um, her task plus my job plus this <laughs> plus let's see, I'm just like zombie fight. So I'm going to enjoy my tea while I do that. And uh, yes, I do have a new mug and this is for um, my English channel. English Channel Marathon. Uh, I found it at TJ Maxx the other day. I had to take a, a patient shopping and she wanted to go uh, to TJ Maxx and I thought this was $3.99. It was great. So I think I'm going to do the background. Um, it's too hot. I'm going to do the background in black. So all I need to do is cut a piece of fabric that fits and then um, the um oh i haven't quilted in so long i can't remember the name of it and i'm tired that driveway guys i'd rather have another emergency c-section i kid you not it's not difficult i said that it's just it's a horrible task let's just put it this way I, i'm so sore from moving that thing back and forth um what do you call the piece you put in the in between I can't remember the name escapes me you guys know what I'm talking about anyway um why can I not remember the name of it I got about like yards and yards of it it'll come back to me anyway so I'm gonna sandwich it and then when I see you again um I'll be doing uh, some stitch in the ditch and whatnot plus the camera needs to go on the charger anyway um it's not padding. Why can I not remember the name? Ah, I can't remember the name. Anyway, it'll come back to me. Uh, let me cut a piece of fabric. I think I have enough black to do the back. And uh, if I have to join them, I'll do that. And then I'll see you in a bit when I'm ready to do the um, stitch in a ditch. I plan on doing the stitch in a ditch around the cat in black and same thing here on um, the border and then I'll probably switch color and do a pink on the Ohio stars and um, well they're not really Ohio stars and these here and then I have to figure out what I'm going to do with the gray and the yellow so yeah I'm going to do different colors um, maybe I should just do white but I'm out of it. So anyway, I'll see you in a second. So here it is. It's sandwiched. I have, um, oh, it's batik, by the way. <laughs> it came back to me as soon as I was done talking. Um, so I have the top, I have the batting, and I have uh, a back, and I'm doing it in black. And uh, it is basted with glue. 
and I have a piece of thread here that's bothering me. I'll remove that. Now I can't find it. Oh, here it is. Okay. Um, so I basted it with glue and then I also added uh, pins. Now, we do have a problem. It's like today is not my day. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I went through uh, a gazillion pieces of fabric. There's a problem with tension. I rethreaded, I lost count, a gazillion time. Uh, I even changed thread. Right now, what seems to be working, and I'm still not happy with it, is the black one at the bottom and this uh, Gutemann uh, brown variegated on top. But it's still not right. And I played with the tension. I changed the needle. I turned it off, turned it back on, um, re-threaded the bobbin. I got like four or five bobbins I re-threaded. Uh, there's something going on. I don't know what it is, but we're going to go with it because I need to get this done. And you know what? If it's not perfect, I'm okay with it. Uh, I think what I need to do is bring my machine uh, to be uh, regulated. All right, so we're going to do stitch in the ditch, which is basically stitching right in the seam. Try to bring my top thread. Okay, so I brought the top, the bottom thread with me here, so that way I can tie it later on, and it's not in the back. All right, let's go back. Um, I'm on a walking foot. You can't see. Um, I don't think this is gonna look good. I'm gonna do one length, and if it's garbage, I tr I'll toss the whole, not toss the project, but what I'll do is, I don't know, maybe I have a problem with thread. I found out that this gray one right here, um, just garbage. I, I gotta get rid of it. Um, this one didn't give me any problem for some reason. So I guess it's a thread problem, but this is a high-end thread. So I don't know what the problem is. Anyway, mm. let's do some close-up. I'm gonna show you some stitch in the ditch. I don't need all that thread in the back here. I can't keep that guys, it's unraveling. Look at that. It's it's totally unraveling. Garbage, garbage, garbage. I gotta figure out something. I mean look at that. Look at how easy it is for me to pull the thread out. I don't know what it is. I gotta find a thread that's not gonna do that. In the meantime, look at that. Ugh. This is garbage. And I tell you what, even if it was a project for me, I wouldn't keep it like that. Because that's not quality work. That's just not quality work. There's a problem with the tension and the thread. I gotta play along. I gotta play with threads and see which one is gonna. Uh, the pink one was fine. I don't know if I wanna do the whole thing in pink though. Alright. Put this to the side. We're gonna try something else. Alright. I'm gonna try uh, this purple thread that I have. 
I re-thread the machine with it. I have a new needle, new thread. It's only the fourth one I try. Let's see what happens. Uh, what I'm trying to show you here is the frustration one can get um, when sewing. And I mean, I'm frustrated, but I'm not like mad or anything. I want to put two pieces of fabric together because I want thick. All right, let's try. Same garbage. Oh. <sighs> Let's go back to my initial tension. Oh, this is even worse. <laughs> oh, man. Look at this. You see that? Garbage, 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 garbage. Four and a half tension. Let's see what happens. Oh! Something's wrong. I don't know what to tell you guys. It doesn't look like I'm quilting today. I'm going to have to ask the good doctor where she gets the machine fixed. She's going to tell me she goes to a guild in Brooklyn. That's no help. <laughs> I'm going to Brooklyn. Are you kidding? I've been there and... Yours. Okay. Oh, it's better, but it's still garbage. No. What's wrong? What's the matter? Is it the thread? Alright, let's go at five. Ugh. Okay. One more thread and I'm done. Okay, that's good. I don't really want to show the back there. I think the tension. Now the stitches on top are nice. The back is nice. Now, I gotta think about it. We'll play, uh, um, is it because it's on the top here or is it because it's the pink thread? It's not perfect. I'm gonna get it perfect. That's better. I gotta play with the tension a little bit. So you see beginner sewers? Uh, the purple was doing this. The pink is much better. And then the purple on top, compare it to the uh, pink. You see the difference? All right. What I'm going to do is try the purple on uh, this thing here because I would really rather have the purple and see if the issue is coming from having the thread coming out here. So you see, I'm not even upset. Um, <laughs> what am I going to do? Uh, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what's wrong with that. The only one that seems to be adjusted at 80% is the pink one and I don't want to do it in pink so variegated not working purple not working regardless of the position black one not working the gray is not working I'm not trying any other color the pink one is the only one that's working and I'm still not happy with it so I just checked what well, I asked um, my uh, doctor friend if uh, where she sends the machine but she's gonna tell me she goes to Brooklyn I'm sure 
because that's where Guild is. Um, soon, Jersey in East Hanover does uh, machines. I've bought fabric from them. Um, I'm just gonna go there tomorrow and drop off the machine and um, have it serviced because I can't go on like this. I want to sew, <laughs> you know. So I I don't know what value this particular video had for you today, guys. Uh, if you stuck around for some quilting, uh, there was no quilting. Um, but I need to have the machine repaired. Well, not repaired, but you know the tension fix it's it, the timing everything needs to be readjusted I've had it for quite a few you know years and I clean it myself uh, but very obviously um, it needs to be taken care of professionally these guys know what they're doing what am I doing trying to figure it out on my own um, y'all give me a brand new machine by the time I get it back <laughs> and then I'll finish the squirrel. Um well she won't get it on time uh, but that's okay no fault of mine um, and even if it was, that's all right, because um, there's a Halloween every year. <laughs> um, yeah, I'd rather do that. That way I can finish this one afterwards and then the Chinese lanterns and, and do another shirt. Um, it's, it's ridiculous for me to try to figure it out. So, yeah, sometimes this is what's going to happen. You're going to sit down at your machine with the uh, perfect, you know, intent. Oh, I didn't try the hot pink. No, I don't want, I want to do it in black. The black thread has got to work, so I have to get it fixed. Um, sometimes you're going to sit down at the machine and nothing's going to go right. And you're going to pull your hair. Um, or not. I'm not. <laughs> but... You know, it is what it is. So there was no sewing today. But I did sandwich it, so that's a plus. You know, that's done. I just got to go tomorrow and um, break it down to East and over. There's uh, um, a uh, uh, Tuesday morning there, anyway. And Scott is going to want to take a ride because there's a whole... No, not Whole Food. What is it? World Market there. There's plenty of stores. We're going to uh, make a day out of it. Eastern Over is not too far. It's 20 minutes from here. So I'll do that. I'll bring it tomorrow. So there will be no sewing for a while. And all of you are going. <laughs> if you were watching. Um, just to see what I was up to. Uh, it's just, um, you know, it's frustrating. But it is what it is. So uh, at least I'll get it fixed. And I can move on with my sewing. Anyway. In the meantime, um, we're going to have dinner. I don't think I'm going to go on the treadmill. I did enough upper body work <laughs> today. Uh, I did last night. I did 2.4 miles or something like that. Um, it's 7.30. I'm going to browse the internet until dinner. It's movie night. It's Scott's pick, and I think he picked Swingers. I'm not sure. Next week it's my pick. Um, so that's good. <laughs> what did you watch last week? It was Edward's pick and I can't remember what we watched. Or was it Willie? Oh, it was Willie. Last week was Willie and we watched the new Spider-Man movie. Oh. I lasted because it was Michael Keaton. Let's be honest. Okay. That was the only plus <laughs> for that movie, Michael Keaton, was it? I love Michael Keaton. He's got beautiful lips. Anyway, um, that's it. I'm done. It was garbage video. I know. <laughs> that's all right. That's okay. So what am I doing tomorrow? Tomorrow I'm going to, because I'm not getting the black top. Tomorrow I got to, um, what do I have to do? I have to uh, plant those uh, uh, flowers. Maybe I'll make it a day in the life. Um, I gotta do the flowers. I gotta do um, the mop review. I gotta go to Eastern over. So maybe, yeah, maybe I'll do a day in the life tomorrow. Um, maybe do some cooking, something. I don't know, I'll figure it out. It doesn't really matter. Cause you guys love my videos anyway. Um, whatever I put out apparently. <laughs> 
you guys love it. I'm a little disappointed and frustrated, but not to the point of pulling my hair and screaming. Um, I'm still very calm and I get it. The machine needs to be serviced. So, yeah, it is what it is. I said that already. I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like what the black top looks like, even though I couldn't finish it. Sometimes you gotta cut the tasks into or three or four bits and pieces like this one because things just don't go as uh, planned and that's all right um, you move on it's not a big deal I'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching bye hey it's me and guess what click that thumbs up if you really like this video thumbs down twice if you didn't you can also share my video if you really really liked it or save it to watch later also, you can subscribe to my channel, but don't forget to click that bell button so you are always notified when I post a new video. Thank you for watching!